In this video, let's take a look at the product structure of a Donut My application. Okay, so this is the application that we just created. When you look at this application, it seems like myprogram.cs is the start point of the application, right? And it does look like it's trying to create an app. But let's think about this. This application can be deployed to different devices, different type of devices, it includes Android, uh, iOS and whatnot. So how can this one program.cs be used in different platforms? They must have their uh, specific way to launch a application, right? So this is not actually the starting point. The starting point is in the platforms folder. So if you look at the Android folder, you would have a main application.cs and then you can see that the main application.cs actually uses the my program. So if we right click and go to definition, we can see that this goes back to the my program.cs file. And this is the create my app static method, right? static function. Let's go back and take a look at iOS, right? iOS is a different way to launch the app. That's the main app. Uh, but then it uses the app delegate. And if you go into the app delegate, a similar way of launching the program is being used. Right? You can see that it also calls the same static method. Of course, if you go into other devices, right, this one would be similar to iOS, it uses the app delegate. And then when you go to app delegate, it uses the method. Right? You can see that every single platform points to this my program.cs so our work mostly are not in here right so we can just uh kind of ignore this for now right so if you have any uh, specific platform code that you want to write then you can go over here but in don my you don't usually encounter that situation very often so most of your code uh, starting up code will be here and mainly about dependency injection, which we'll cover later. Practically, everything would be starting from here, right? We don't have to worry about the platforms folder. Practically, everything starts from this static method, which will be invoked from different platforms, right? It starts from here, and then you can see that it's trying to create a application, a Donaimai application, right? So we can go to this app, this is the next place where we need to look at, right? So this app from the front end, which is the ZAMO end, it doesn't have much. It has a bunch of resources we don't have to focus on, but let's go back. We can see that it has a main page, right? Every single Dalai Maui application has a main page and, and it's just similar to Xamarin Forms. It has a main page. But we have a special type of main page, which is called App Shell. So for .NET Maui, a shell application is created by default, right? Which uses this shell page. You don't have to do it this way, but this is provided to you as a default option, which I, I actually like it very much. The shell becomes the main page. And when you go to the shell, you, you can see that it has the shell content right and then when you go go to the back end uh there's nothing on it so the shell itself is a opinionated way for organizing all of your pages in this case it points to the main page the route to the main page which is just just a page you don't have to call it main page it's just a page uh, one thing may be confusing and you have to understand that this main page it's just referring to this one, main page, right? This main page. And then if you go to the code behind, you can see that this main page is a content page, right? The type is content page. Whereas if you go to the app code behind here, this main page is the application's main page, right? It's a member of the application. And the type of that, is a page. They are completely different object um, objects 
They are comp completely different objects, so don't get confused. This main page is not referring to this main page. So we have iOS, we have Android, and we have Windows, for example. And of course, we can have more, but everything actually goes into this multiprogram.cs. We don't have to even worry about the, the different platforms. We kind of ignore this layer. What really matters is that our code start from multiprogram.cs. And then this goes to app. Uh, this app represents our application, and every application needs to have a main page. And in .NET MAUI, the default main page is the shell page, which is the app shell. You don't have to do it this way, but this is the default uh, structure that is provided. With this app shell, it organizes all of the other pages. For example, we may have page 1, page 2, page 3, page 4, and no matter what type of hierarchy you actually have, let's for example, page 1 has two child pages, like two, two children, and page 2 and page 1 are on the same level. Each single one of these pages will need to register to app shell, at least for routing purpose. So this is the project structure of the .NET MAUI application that is provided out of the box. Again, app shell and the way that it organizes the pages is a opinionated way for organizing the application and all of the pages. You don't have to do it this way. You can create your own page and make that page as the main page. But in this course, we are going to utilize the different functionalities that is provided by a shell page. So let's look at the documentation from Microsoft. Right? A shell page provides four different features, right? fundamental features. But for me, I'm mainly focused on this one. Right? Because the other three different features, they are kind of uh, implemented through this fly out and tabs. Right? This, this is the fly out, and then you have different tabs, and then you have your search bar here. If you don't like this kind of UI structure, you can still use shell application for at least registering different routes for different pages and then navigate to those pages with a URL based navigation scheme, which we'll cover later. Okay, so this is everything for this video, the product structure of a .NET MAUI application. I'll see you in the next one.